Hi Leo, welcome in and thank you so much for joining. Be sure to only take messages that resonate and how they resonate with your situation. If you're cross watching for a Leo, the energies could be reversed. If the messages are not for you, check your other signs or check back next time. Thank you so much for hitting that like button as it does help support the channel. So Leo, tapping into your energy, I was getting a message of you learning to live with things out of your control. And everybody's getting this message. When I did pull a card for your pre-shuffle, I did get birth and rebirth. So there is something here about shedding old skin. And I feel like there's a message here to believe in yourself and believe in what you're going through. Having the ability to get you a step higher. And it's kind of like things may be going haywire. Think, learning to live with things out of your control. I feel like for some of you Leos, there may be some mishaps or maybe there's some type of inconvenience really and I feel like it's all to benefit you in some way it's all to help get you to change or to transform or to tra transition here is the message I was getting for you so of course take that how it resonates let's see We have the seven of wands. Okay, so this is all about being on the defense, feeling attacked, right? And so now I'm getting this image of a wasp. Feeling like you need to defend yourself from this wasp or these wasps, okay? Um, but the thing is about the wasp, I feel like they're just angry and looking for the first thing to attack. And so here in the recent past or here currently, you could feel attacked or you could feel the need to put a guard up here or you could feel very defensive about something. It's fire energy. But the seven of wands is also about being strong willed and strong minded, having a strong stance. So I'm getting something here about opinions of others as well with the Seven of Wands. Let's see. Tell me more. Well, there's your energy, the Strength card, the Eight of Wands. Very interesting. So this is all about having the courage to communicate. Now, the Eight of Wands also talks about leveling up. It talks about elevation. And so it feels to me like this Seven of Wands energy, the more you elevate, the more people are going to feel the need to attack you. The more your vibe raises, the more people feel the need to attack you because there's something about your light, there's something about your vibration or your success triggering others in a way that is unusual, okay? Um, the Strength card... Your strength, your courage is a reminder to these people that they're not where you're at energetically. And it's like whether they realize that or not, that's really what's going on here. Because I do feel like you do have the courage here to communicate something with the Eight of Wands, Seven of Wands. You do have the courage to say whatever it is that you're wanting to say, okay? Okay. I also feel like with the strength card, you do it in such a way that is graceful. You do it in such a composed manner. It's really irritating these wasps. Okay. But you're being guided to continue with the eight of wands, the strength card. You're being guided to move forward, to continue and there's something about the spots of this lion. 
Okay, or this cat on this particular card that is sticking out to me. There's something very unique about what you're doing, or there's something very unique about the way you communicate. There's something different about you. And the strength card talks about having confidence and having a thick skin. So there could be communication coming at you as well, or that did come at you in the past. And I feel like this communication meant to trigger you, really kind of strengthened your skin, really kind of made you stronger. So it really actually built you up. Somebody was sent to tear you down, but it actually built you up. It made you stronger. And I'm feeling like there's a wasp here that is irritated by that. Okay, oops, <laughs> well we have the sun and then we have the queen of cups. Very, there's something about you being happy that is irritating wasps, okay? Or like, I'm sorry I keep saying that, <laughs> but it's like these energies. There's something about your happiness, there's something about your composure, there's something about your gentleness, the way you handle People sent to antagonize you or people sent to irritate you or to trigger you by you handling it with grace, whether this be you ignoring it or you just kind of drinking up your own happiness in front of people when they're sent to destroy your happiness. It's, it's bothering, it's triggering them, but in a way it's also helping them heal their own shadow. So... The emperor this is about maturity you not being able to be knocked they can't knock you down the emperor is very stable okay he's grounded he's stable he's mature um the seven of wands being above this emperor like whatever is sent to attack you you're coming across as someone who is stable mature unable to be broken unable to be knocked down and I feel like, you know, for some of you guys, this is an energy of you just, you have a really good way of showing people that you can't be knocked down. However, when it comes to your inner self, your inner emotions, because I did see the Queen of Cups, the, uh, the sun at the bottom of the deck, when I just dropped the cards. I feel like internally, there are things that emotionally affect you. But you have this really good way of not showing it. So it's like, you're really good at keeping things in. But I feel like it's in a healthy way. Like, you're very balanced. Um, it's not that things are not hurting you. It's not that things are not affecting you because they are. You just have this thick skin to the outside world. This uh, energy of maturity, this energy of turning, you know, a ch turning your cheek here, okay, and not retaliating to the evilness or to the people wanting to attack you. You're not retaliating. You're just, you're, you keep moving forward with the eight of wands. You keep building up momentum, building up strength. And it's like you take something, you internalize it, you act in a mature way, or this could all be advice to do that. But I feel like no matter what happens here with the Eight of Wands being here, you are going to continue elevating. And there's an energy here of learning to live with things being out of your control, meaning the Seven of Wands, people are going to be attacking you or issues are going to arise. Things are out of your control. The Emperor here, now he does like to control everything. He does like to be in control. But there's an owl here in this particular Emperor card. And I feel like there's an energy of wisdom coming where it's like you're learning to not let not not allow things to affect you as deeply as they may have they may they used to. But you still feel the effects, but you internalize it better. There's less reactive energy here to things that attack you or things that knock you out of balance or things that catch you off guard. 
there's less reactive energy. Now, if you're wanting to embody this, if you're a Leo here that wants to embody this uh, power, this strength, this level of maturity, it's all about communicating with yourself. I feel like the strength card, there may be some things that you need to open up to inside of yourself. You, how she's opening the mouth of the lion. Be gentle with yourself as you're internalizing these things that, like your shadow side. If you're wanting to embody this, you may need to take a look at your triggers here. Okay, but some of you, a lot of you Leos, you're already embodying this power. You're stepping into this emperor status, okay? Male or female, this is you... Uh, appearing to be composed, mature, solid, unable to be shaken. The seven of wands cannot shake you. I'm getting chills. Look at this, the high priestess, Pisces energy. So this is where your empowerment is. And I feel like everybody's getting this message. And these, my intention for these readings are to nourish your soul. And I feel like a common theme here, Leo, a common theme I keep seeing in these readings is standing in your power and not allowing outside energy affect you and throw you off course. Now, we're not perfect. We're all human. And of course, this is also about getting back up when things do knock us down and learning from our mistakes instead of putting ourselves in these mental prisons just because we made a mistake. Because, you know, growth, elevation is not, it's not a one track. It's not a one way street. There's several different avenues we tend to take and there's no wrong turns is really what I'm getting. Uh, but the destination stays the same. But I really feel like you are in this empowered high status state and the high priestess is all about your gut reactions to things the high priestess is all about also silence maintaining your power has a lot to do with being silent towards situations that are sent to knock you out of character silence is the best policy silence is the best reaction i'm not saying you're not going to feel these things deeply but not reacting to whoever is triggering you is very powerful. You are being perceived as mature, powerful. And it's actually, it feels, it's very empowering to not show somebody your reaction that they're looking for. But the emperor, the high priestess, I do feel like you have this strong intuition, especially uh, the next couple of days. The, the, the quieter you are towards situations sent to knock you out of character, the stronger your intuition gets towards the situation because you're allowing yourself to sit with this. And I feel like you can feel someone's true intentions. And trust your gut, especially right now. Like I feel like there's a message here to trust your gut when it comes to people, places, or things. Trust your gut. Your, your gut is on point, okay? Your intuition is at an all-time high right now. Knight of Swords, not feeling the need to explain yourself, explain your silence, or explain anything, really. Because, again, there's power in not, <laughs> not explaining. Because people are going to come in with the Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands to test you. Uh, people, places, or, or even just energies, situations could arise that really test your patience here. But the Knight of Swords also talks about not jumping to conclusions. Because the Seven of Wands, sometimes we can be so defensive. Sometimes we need to check our own selves, make sure that we're not just defensive towards everything and everyone. Because the Knight of Swords can refer to jump into conclusions, but the Strength card is talking about holding back. Hold back your communication before you jump to a conclusion and say something spontaneously that might not even be what's really going on, okay? Okay. So there's just a message to not to not jump to conclusions here. I am 
going to say that, you know, there could be another Leo, Pisces, or Aries that you're dealing with. And I will say that it does look like there's this energy wanting to come in and speak with you. I feel like there could be something here in the past that was very disappointing for you, Leo. Something either moving very slow or it's like you really tried to be patient with the situation, hoping that things were going to turn around. I truly feel like whatever has been not arriving is going to arrive. However that relates to you. And it, rely, it, it arrives uh, spontaneously. And it arrives when we let go of the need to control. It's timing. So there might be something in your life where you are trying to control the timing of it, but it's like releasing that control and allowing things to unfold naturally and allowing things to happen the way they should. Look at this, the Ace of Wands in the future, it arrives. This new adventure, this, this fresh start, this new beginning. And so I do feel like there's something very exciting here happening in the future for you. It's a new adventure. It's something that you've never experienced before. We have the Two of Cups and you're coming into alignment with it. This could be a union with another person. This could be things moving to that next level here, okay? And this is all about uh, those of you that are in relationships. Uh, there may be people attacking it with the Seven of Wands for some of you guys, okay? Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands. There might be some type of gossip or cattiness or just um, un <laughs> unnecessary communication about what or who you're with with the Two of Cups, whether this is now or leading into the future, I do feel like, uh, you know, there's power in silence here when there are people wanting to affect the energy of your connection. It's not going to work, first of all, is what I'm seeing. It's not going to work because there's too much power here. There's too much, whoever you're in union with or whoever you're coming in union with, there's too much respect you have for one another here. Okay. The Knight of Swords. And I do feel like whoever you're with, you might want to communicate to them and have some type of level of understanding to prepare yourselves for not jumping to conclusions here. Okay. Because the person you're connecting with right now, there could be some communication that comes in that makes this person jump to conclusions. And I feel like there needs to be a conversation. If this is relating to you, there needs to be some type of conversation and, and powerful union here. Okay, because I'm getting like their strength in twos. I don't know why I'm, 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 that's popping in my head with the two of cups. Like their strength in twos. And I feel like it's you guys having the same energy towards the seven of wands. You guys having the same understanding here of potential obstacles that come your way. And I feel like a lot of it has to do with communicating that and preparing yourselves as a union here with the two of cups. Preparing yourselves uh, for things that could potentially come in and try to knock you two out of character, okay, with the Two of Cups. But it does look like a new adventure with a love interest here in the future, Leo. And, you know, with the Eight of Wands, the High Priestess, the Two of Cups, this is a very powerful union. It's almost telepathic, okay? You two are very connected to one another. And there's a lot of exciting news in the future about this connection. We have the Page of Swords. Page of Swords can talk about um, staying vigilant, keeping your eyes open. I'm actually hearing that Taylor Swift song, Eyes Open. Everybody's watching for you to break down. Or no, everyone's watching for the fallout. Everyone's waiting for you to break down. Even when you're sleeping, keep your eyes open. I'm hearing that song. Go listen to that song because I feel that very powerfully in your energy. <laughs> okay. Um, so keep your eyes open with the Page of Swords and communicate with whoever you are with here in the future for them to also keep their eyes open. And I feel like there's something here about you not jumping to conclusions when it comes to 
the person you're in union with and for them also to be prepared and not to jump to conclusions. I feel like that's going to solve a lot of problems before they even arise, is to make sure you both are on the same page here about potential dis disturbances. But the Page of Swords, the knight, underneath the Knight of Swords and the Strength card, this is all about strengths and communicating. Strengths and there is strength in communicating and there is strength in being prepared and staying. And, you know, this, this particular deck, it says diligence. And so it's very, it's very important for you to communicate effectively to those that you deem to be on your team is what I'm saying. Um, and I'll take that however it resonates. I do feel with the two of cups, it's a relationship, but it could also be a business partner as well, or both. Okay. Um, just keep your eyes open. And I'm hearing like the tricky thing is yesterday we were just children playing with our swords, just pretending I'm getting chills. I don't know how this is relating to you, but I'm trying to interpret here. So it's like with the emperor, you've prepared yourself for all of this, or I feel like you are in preparance for, is that a word? <laughs> you are in preparance for this. Okay. If it's not, I'm inventing it. Bingo. Okay. Um, <laughs> but I just feel like it's no longer pretend. Okay. Um, you're in this or you're about to be in this. Okay. And you are ready with the ace of wands, the two of cups. I feel deeply you are ready for this, okay? But just keep your eyes open for things that could that are sent to destroy something here. And it's not that it's, I don't want you to be overly cautious or I don't want you to be paranoid, but I feel like you and whoever you are engaging with here or, you know, whether this be a friend or, you know, somebody that you are romantically connecting with, it's very important for you two to be on the same page as what I'm getting. Okay, and it's very important to communicate effectively. And it's also very important for you two to be on the same team, right? And, and view something, you know, view outside energy sent to attack. View them clearly and, and not jump to conclusions about one another. Because it does feel like with the Seven of Wands, the Eight of Wands, the Strength card, I don't know why I'm getting this energy of like, People wanting to, I'm hearing like, pry, this is dramatic, but it's like pry you two apart, make you against each other. And again, this could be happening at work with the emperor, or this could be like, this could be a business partner, a coworker, a romantic interest, or anyone for that matter. I do feel like there's an outside party wanting to pry you two apart, wanting to pitch you two against each other. And it's very important to communicate with this person that there's a possibility of that happening. Okay. Either way, the future looks good. It looks like, uh, it's, there's some very exciting news coming in for you with the Ace of Wands, the Two of Cups. Um, but just keep your eyes open is what I'm getting with that Page of Swords. Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So what you're not seeing is the future is full of success. The future is full of, you know, the Six of Wands. There are people, the crowd is cheering for this achievement. So you're getting recognized. Okay. And I feel like for the most part, Leo, there are people in your life or people that know you that do view you in a good light. Those are the people that matter. The people who want to share in on your success, share in your happiness. Those are the people that we should focus on. Those are the people that matter. The other people, the seven of wands people, the people who want to come at us and um, already are committed to misunderstanding us, people who jump to their own conclusions about who we are, people who want to attack, those people don't matter. And so I feel like that is uh, a certain, you are understanding that, okay? But I do see you, you are stepping into a new level of success here. What else? 
does for Leo. What else for Leo, please? We do have Leo energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Pisces and Aries. Those are the main signs I'm seeing. Communication. Yeah, so, and we're in a Mercury retrograde still, so it's kind of like, you know, pay attention to the communication here. Um, this is very interesting with the Eight of Wands being up here. So I just feel like there's a lot of communication that needs to happen with the right people and a lot of uh, communication that might be coming in uh, trying to cause uh, disruption in your life, okay? And I feel like, you know, the Emperor, the High Priestess, the Knight of Swords, a lot of you Leos are already aware of this, okay, in the present moment with the High Priestess. And a lot of you Leos, I just feel like your guides are wanting you to know that you're handling it very gracefully. And you're actually getting applauded here with the Six of Wands, okay? Um, we have the Nine of Wands. Yeah, you're determined to be successful. We have this Empress energy here. You're determined to grow, to be successful, and to continue maturing here. And those of you that are connecting with a love interest, I do see a divine union with that Empress coming out. I see it's a divine partnership, but you still have to communicate with this person and you still have to nourish the connection constantly, right? I actually want to read that. Let's see, 41. It says, are you clear and straightforward when you communicate with others? Do you have difficulty asking for what you need? This marker reminds you of many things related to how you speak to the world and how it speaks to you. It asks you to clear, it asks you to be clear and to seek clarity in all communications between yourself and others in your life. Perhaps you need to call someone or write a letter. Do you need to connect with someone you haven't talked to in a while? Do you need to clarify something that remains cloudy between you and another? Drawing this marker indicates that it's timely to do so, for communication at this moment is highlighted in all areas of your life. This card notes that communication is not just between human beings. Your spirit guides, angels, and other helpers on your path are always trying to get your attention. Are you open to their messages? Ask and you will know, look and you will see, listen and you will hear, sense and you will feel. Communication is not just about talking at something or someone. In Avalon, the sacred wisdom was gained by developing receptivity and learning to listen. So yeah, communication with another person is not just communicating what you want to say, but also listening to what they want to say. Okay, and with the Knight of Swords, uh, kind of feels like an interruption. Somebody here might feel the need to interrupt communication. Uh, you know, they could, of course, I'm not a psychologist, but this person could have ADHD or, you know, I, I feel like there could be some interruptions in communication and it's kind of a, uh, with the high priestess, the emperor, just all around being understanding of other people. I feel like it's really, and, and having patience with other people and patience with yourself, but also expecting that same respect in return. Very important right now, communication. So just take it how it resonates. This is general. We're going to see what you need to let go of. What does Leo need to surrender? It says surrender your need to always be right. Give others the gift of letting them be right. Be yielding, not rigid. This will help resolve conflicts and improve your relationships. What I'm also getting from this card is if people come at you some type of way and they're looking for a fight, you being silent and you being the mature one, you say, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't even have to say this, but it's almost like energetically like, yeah, you're right. Okay, go fight yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like surrender your need to always be right. Surrender your need to tell your side of the story. Uh, you know, learning to live with things out of your control. Okay. Um, learning to live with other people having their own thoughts, opinions, and beliefs, right? And, and I feel like, you know, when it comes to the closest relationships in your life, uh, just kind of give other the gift of letting them be right, okay? Um, because when it comes down to it, like, who's really right anyway at the end of the day? But it says, this will help you resolve conflicts and improve relationships in your life, Leo. So those are your messages. My goal for this reading was to nourish your soul 
If it's not your thing, totally cool. I have other readings on my channel that I do. Um, and thank you guys so much for hitting the like button. I really appreciate it as it does help support the channel. Until next time, bye!